Hi everyone, it's Sandy. Thank you for joining me here on my channel. I'm going to be doing a process video or tutorial for the mini ephemera holder uh, project that I shared with you and done a flip through as part of uh, a my design team project for Kerry Ann, who is a shabby art boutique. And I used her uh, January kit called Victorian Romance. It is an absolutely gorgeous digital kit collection. It's very shabby with a Victorian feel to the uh, to the kit and it's just a it's, it's a stunning stunning collection um, I'll put down below the link to the flip through of my um, mini ephemera holder which were these ones here um, and what I had made to uh, make these was the envelope that is in the kit and I altered the envelope to create the uh, ephemera holder so you could store all the uh, ephemera pieces or the fussy cut elements in the folder like I have here so I've got the some of the little mini postcards and um, the cut apart well fussy cut images and just a great right place to put them and you'll be able to um, have them stored in each of these pockets so there's a side pocket here this one has a, a front tuck pocket and I've added a vellum piece to create the side tuck pocket which is perfect for the postcards that are in the kit or your tags or some of the larger uh, images so these are just some of the postcards and I just kept them together and wrapped it with some vellum to create a belly band so they're all stored nicely inside the pocket so I'm going to show you well I'm going to make one using the vellum if you want to make a side tuck pocket with the vellum with a front pocket a side pocket as well as a front pocket and this one here is similar this one has a front pocket as well where you can put some of the some of the other pieces it's just gorgeous this has a side tuck pocket as well and this one has a flip page where you can add a bit of journaling or you can write down what projects you will want to make with the uh, uh, fussy cut images that's in your uh, folder and then this one also has a little flip up page and I've got that held with a paper clip and that just flips up and you can place all of your little bits and pieces of your um, leftover digital papers and just stack them up and place them on the front here and then that just sort of comes out and you can remove them this has a side tuck pocket as well, so you've got another side tuck pocket to store your postcards and tags. So I'm going to show you how to make this one with the flip page and a place to store your um, little pieces of your uh, leftover papers. So that's that one. This one here, I used the Vintage Love paper from the December kit because I had another envelope and it was a spare one, so I made one with the uh, Vintage Love collection. And that's also available from a Shabby Art Boutique's Etsy store. This has a front tuck pocket as well with the fussy cut images. And that opens up this way. And this also has a side tuck pocket with a flip page. This comes with the part where you can add your scrap papers and then there is that side tuck pocket. So let's just go ahead and let's go and make, um, well, I'm going to make the one with the vellum pocket if you have some vellum sheets and you'd like to make one with a vellum side tuck pocket without a flip page and then I will make one with the side pocket and the flip page as, as well and so what you want to do is in the um, Victorian romance collection there are three envelopes and these are the three that comes in the kit you just um, print it out and then you just cut out the outline and then once you've cut the outline, you're just going to then fold the um, parts where it tells you to fold. And there are like some fine lines along to guide you where to fold. And all you're going to do is fold the sides. And before you want to do that, if you want to distress your edge, you can distress your edge with the ink first. All I've done with mine is I use a pair of scissors and I just, just um, sort of scrape the edge to give it a shabby tattered look to the edge which I love and if you do that and you tear the paper a little bit along the edge and it sort of tears that's fine I think that gives it a more of a more shabby feel to it as well 
So you're just going to go right around and just do that if you wanted to do, if you wanted to give it that look. So I've already pre-folded my sides and then you're going to fold it so that you're going to create your envelope. So that is your envelope. It's got this lovely image there, which is perfect for how we want to make it. So you're going to open that up this way. You're going to have the closure on the side here and then these side flaps on this side. So we're going to have them all folded down for now. And you're going to decide if you want to keep the background white or if you'd like to cover it. And you can do it two ways. This one here, let me just take this one out. I cut out uh, two pieces of the background papers and cut out two um, pieces to back to cover these two so that the fold line is sort of exposed. Or if you like, you could just do a complete, um, let me see if I can get this out so you can see. You can just cut out a whole piece and then uh, cover up the background paper. Either way, it's up to you how you'd like to do it. So I'm going to, I'm just going to do mine with a whole paper. So I'm going to cover this whole piece. So I did cut out, or I printed out and cut out the white border around um, some of the background paper. So you just choose which one you like. I'm going to use this one, I think, for, for this size. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to fold these in. This is how I do it. And you just, I'm just going to decide where I like my paper. So I, I want this image probably around here. So I'm just going to do this and I'm going to use my envelope as my guide. I'm just going to fold it. And I just use a ruler to tear the paper. I don't use scissors. It's <clears throat> it's so much fun so at this point I'm going to actually bring it in a little bit I'm not going to make it exactly the same I want it a little bit less than the actual uh, envelope so that it gives me room to fold the paper and uh, move it around I'm just going to fold that side Way. I mean, if you have an easier way of how you'd like to get your background papers onto the envelope, you can find it that way. I'm just going to do it this way. Right, so I have that. Yes, yeah, it doesn't matter for me if it has these little jagged edges or tears. I think that just gives it a, a more fun feel to the pocket. So I'm just going to do that. So you can see that it's pushed out to the side. So I'm going to trim that off in a minute. So let me just trim this off. And I'm just going to glue this down. So now I've covered up the white part. I usually use a, um, what do you call it, the, uh, like the glue stick, but I've ran out, so it's quicker, but I'm just going to use this quickly. So you just glue it all around. And if you're going to use two pieces, you'll just glue them separately. Oh, I'm just going to bring that there. Just make sure. So now I've covered that part. And I'll just gently bend this back where the fold was. So that's all done now and then that part here that's overhanging a bit I can fix it up later so I might just cut that now and then what I do is I just go ahead and just do that again 
so we've co covered that up and then we just grab your vellum piece if you have some vellum and you're going to uh, cut out your vellum piece to fit uh, inside this panel but you also want to give it an extra a quarter of an inch uh, to the width so you can see that's the fold line you want to allow a little bit of an overhang because we're going to fold this part so and you, so you do that and get your measurements to how you want it so this is a little bit too long so just cut that out because I want it to sit nicely inside the side flaps sitting there nicely now All right, so. okay so now I'm just going to I'm just going to use I'm going to fold that over just a little bit to give me a guide of where I need to fold fold that over so you've got that fold and that part that you fold it's going to go on the left side now so there's your fold and that's going to go beside that fold line so it's going to go beside there and i want the edge here to come in a little bit in from the edge of the pocket because i want to have a little bit more of a i don't want it flush but you can but i'm going to bring one in a little bit just because um, Sometimes e that makes it easier to get your, just helps to get what you need to, um, that you've got in there to take out. So I've got that there. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to glue this side. And actually I might trim that down a little bit more. It's a little bit too, too much. Because you don't want it too much, just want a little bit, just enough to create a pocket. So the next part I'm going to glue down at this part so I'm just going to add some glue up to the edge of where I've got the uh, vellum so I'm just going to glue this down just up to the edge of the vellum there press that down that will close up the top now so that will give me that pocket and I want to create a front tuck pocket here now and what I'm going to do, because I want to give it a bit of extra um, sort of uh, a way so that whatever I'm going to tuck in there won't fall out. So let me grab one of these pieces that I cut out. I've already got that image there. So I might put that one there. So you just want one of the uh, larger images to be placed in the front so that you've got an extra, you know, extra place to tuck your pieces in there. So let's put that one. Again, I'm just going to quickly distress this little edge here. Okay, and so that's going to go there. So let's glue that down first to the our bottom flap. And now what we're going to do, we're going to only glue down this side here and glue down only up to where the edge of that vellum is. So just along here, not onto the edge here, just where you've stopped. One there. And I'm going to just glue all that down. I might even be able to glue a little bit here, which I might do that. So it's so it'll just give me a side tuck pocket. 
So press that down. So that will give me a side pocket there now. How cute is that? Isn't it just already looking cute? And then you could get yourself a front pocket there where you can place your bits and pieces. So that's that side done. And then this part is pretty simple. You just glue down the top and glue down the bottom and that will give you your side tuck pocket you can place that in there as well so and that's that part all done and then you've got yourself a ephemera holder with some a vellum pocket screw all that down and then you just if you would like to make a tuck pocket in the front you can do the same and add your bits and pieces to the front can add an envelope and stick that to the front and just glue down the back here and the bottom here to create a, a tuck pocket there and you can also add a bit of embellishing to the back first and add some fabric some trim so you can do that with that so we've done that one let's now make the flip page well with the flip page like this So I've done the one with the vellum. So that was pretty easy to make. So I'll take that out. All right, so we'll grab another envelope. Just put that in there. So we'll do the same. We're just going to fold this over. Can you hear that? That's just a doing his per usual snoring while he's while I do my tutorial so I'm just going to quickly fold this over I won't do any distressing for this one I'm just going to show you how to create the flip page so let me grab another piece So let's just do the same thing. I don't know if you could actually hear him snoring but he is pretty loud from where I am um, he's just so cute all right so I'm going to glue this down like we had done with the first envelope So we've got that all done now. So what we're going to do, we're going to create the pocket like we had done with the like the vellum um, piece. So we'll do that. So I might I might use this one. This is already pre-cut. So let's use that. No, we can't use that one because I need the extra width. Let's do this one. Oops. So actually, 
no, we'll use that one. Sorry, I was just trying to decide what I wanted to use. Sorry about that. Okay, so let me just go back and tear these. with a little bit overhanging I've got a little bit too come down a bit okay so let's see I'm just gonna fold this over and that's gonna go there a little bit long so I'm just going to trim it with the okay that's fine so what I've got here let me see I'm going to do a little bit of tearing like I've done here just so that you could still see a little bit of the pattern there peeking through so I'm going to do that so I'm just going to trim this down a little bit more because I want to see the background of that paper coming through so you can see that's what I wanted to achieve with that I'm just going to distress this quickly and I'm just going to do a couple of little tiny tears one just up here just like that and one here just fold the little ends in just got to keep playing around with the paper till I get the right sizing inside the um, to keep it closed so I'm happy with that okay so now we have that done we'll put that to the side you're going to grab another piece of uh, your background paper to create a flip page so I might just use this one it's already cut okay I'll just use this one Let me just get this to fit I'm just going to use this edge So now we've got that will be your pocket this will be a flip page that's going to go in the front so we'll do the same thing and you're just going to fold one end a little bit in just like that and that's going to get placed on the top that's going to be a flip page and then that will be your pocket so you can see that's how it will look that will be a flip page and that will be your pocket so what we'll do, we'll take this out. We're going to glue the uh, flip page first. So we'll, we'll glue down the part that's folded. And place that along the edge of the fold. Or beside the fold, sorry. So there you have a flip page. We've got the pocket and that's going to go on the top like that, like we had done with the vellum. And that, what we'll do here is we'll glue this down. And place that beside that fold line. And then we are going to glue down this side so that's going to get glued down to create the side pocket and sorry and also okay and that's that part done 
and then we're going to glue this whole piece down and hold that in place if you wanted to you can do the same thing create a front tuck pocket like we've done with the vellum just adding another uh, fussy cut element to the front here to help hold the your pieces in place but I'll just uh, glue this down just so you can see and that will close up both of the sides so they'll close the bottom and that part's already closed and then this part is left open so that you can create that as your flip page for your leftover uh, pieces so once that's all glued down and press nicely you have that and that can get placed on the top there like that and then you add your paper clip to hold that you have this as your flip page then you have this as your side tuck pocket which we'll do the same thing and glue this down and then you have a side tuck pocket there you've got your flip page you have this part as your flip for your bits and pieces and then this here is your side pocket grab one of these isn't that just adorable and you can then just embellish the top part like um what have i got here i've got some of these pieces that i made from the vintage love collection these are the little paper ruffles from the leftover pieces of papers and i just made a few of these just to have to finish off um, some of my projects and that would be nice just to stick there on the top to decorate that and let's just put that on I think that's gonna look nice on there so I did some stitching to hold it in place these are just fun you can do so much with all of these little leftover pieces and there's your little flip page side pocket on some of these i think i've some more for the little pieces that i've cut up and torn and then you can just just tear it up that and that will also hold these uh pieces that you have in there in place with the paper clip there's your flip page you can even add more pages if you wanted to you just keep stacking the same way just folding the edge and stack another piece on top and gluing it down and then you've got your side tuck pocket here as well and then you can then you've got the front here to decorate add another front pocket so that's just my process video or tutorial on how i alter the envelopes using the envelope from the digital collection let me just grab all these and um just another way to uh create some projects with the uh, digital kit so again I'll put all the links down below I hope you enjoyed this process video and I'll see you all soon in my next video bye for now